Hey guys. So today's video is gonna me be me trying to figure out things. So what I'm gonna try to figure out is how to take this off. Then I'm gonna have to take these off to get behind there. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what's the a hundred percent the issue for the motor to not start. Which we already know it's a sparking problem. Alright. The master cylinder, or the starting cylinder, was replaced multiple times. Same thing with the starter. Well, the solenoid. The starter, we have replaced. We have repla replaced this countless times. The clutch is still good. Because it turns over. But what I want to do is... Hook up the battery, crank it over, and get one of those tester thingies out. And I'm going to test all the lines of electrical and seeing which wire is not working. And then I'll go on the inside. And then, I will have to go under the dash to look, too. But after all of that, I should know what's wrong with it. But, I have to wait until my brother gets home because he has, well, he might have the electrical tester. But in the meantime of that, what we're going to do is we are going to not hook up the jump pack for once. And we're going to come in here and try to figure this out. Which, I probably will have to go under the dash for it. But, in the meantime, I need to find things that might work. All of these worked. That 4x4. Four four, that did not work. The brakes. I did not see them working. That is the high beams. Holy crap. This truck is dead. And then, fasten seat belt. Didn't see that because the truck was off. That, that worked. And then, I cannot tell if the shifter works because I haven't got it run yet. But, right now, I am waiting to see what is possible for me to do. So, I'm going to go under the dash, and I'm going to stop the video, and then I'm going to record when I'm under, whenever I'm laying on the floor. And then I'm going to get the phone, use the phone light while recording to see if I can see anything that this would be hooked on to without tearing up the whole inside. 
So that's the game plan, and I'll see y'all then. Alright guys, so I'm back under here. Well, I'm under here this time. And this just shows you how much room I have. To look. I had to get under here to disassemble that. I, I had to put my arm under these pedals. But first of all, don't touch nothing electrical. Because I might get shocked. So. What's that? Spaghetti up there. Does that look like the lights? Where's that for like the speedo and stuff? What else is up there? I should not have to tear this whole thing off right. The whole dash out, right? Probably not. But just in case... I ain't gonna pull nothing out yet. Right there, that spaghetti right there, that is what controls the lights and the washers. The washer arms. So if we look above that, we can't. That's the issue, we can't. <laughs> but we can see that, and that's right above this. Uh, yeah, there's nothing electrical there, so it has to be for the dash. There's more wires up there. Has to, yeah, right there. A little gray thingy that all the wires are going into. That is probably what I need. That's, I don't want to... Maybe that has to deal something with it, but that's on the steering wheel. I mean, that's the... Oh. Um. Yeah, looking up there. There's some spaghetti. And then... Um. What's that? That thing. Is that for the brake pedal? I don't know. Look at that. It's an original Ford. Anyways. I only have six minutes left because my stupid phone is going out of storage. But. I don't. Right here. That's for this part. That's missing. There's two bolts right there. What's up in that crack? See my phone light on the other side of it, so I know it's there. Well, that sucks. I might have to take this whole steering wheel off. But. y'all see anything up there? Anything that would have to be noticed? Except for this right here. And that. Besides from that hole. So those are those, so it has to be up there. See? Up where all that spaghetti is. That's right beside it. Is where I need to look at. Right there. That. Hold on. Let's see if I can get my finger back in there. That thing right there. That's where the dash thingy is. So, I think, 
I can't do nothing at this moment in time, so I'm gonna have back from that mishap. Let's hope I made enough storage. So I think the only way I'm gonna get this whole thing out is by either pulling it out or unscrewing the whole dash because there's screws there. Screws over here. And I don't know how Ford made it, but it's not shown on the camera, but I can stick my, a couple of my fingers down in there. And just pull. So, I'm going to have to figure that out, but that consists of today's video because my phone is acting up. I can't get enough space on it. I need a camera or something. But, I feel bad for not making a longer video, but I can't do nothing when my phone's being stupid. Actually, it doesn't have a time limit on it now. So if my phone cuts out, it's because I don't have enough storage on my phone, which I don't even know. I deleted the videos I posted, but I deleted them because I had them saved, but I deleted them off my phone before I can make this video. But now, what I'm going to try and figure out is... Um, that's the light that goes into this orange one here. That little thing right there. I know that because it's on this side too and it's more visible. But... Everything on here should be there, and I can't do nothing until my brother gets home. So I'm going to make a cut to that part right about now. Alright, I found something out for once about this truck. Turns out, this truck was manufactured in Canada and that means somebody owned it in Canada and then probably went to the US or somebody in the US bought it and it ended up in Pennsylvania it came stock with an inline six which doesn't surprise me and that's after I looked up the VIN number from is it? Somewhere up here, right there. That little slot. Right here. It has a VIN number on it. Or in it. So. Turns out. It's made in Canada. So it was manufactured. And somebody in Canada owned it and unlike new cars it was not shipped to the US after being made in Canada so somebody owned it in Canada for a while and then also yada 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 I also found out that the truck is officially 40 years old it's an 84, so it must have been made on like the second, first, second, third, or fourth, because when I looked up the VIN, it said 40 years old instead of 39. So, happy birthday! I wish the I wish the horn worked. <laughs> scare people away that are walking whenever people are walking down the road just go meh, meh, and scare them 
which that's probably a good way for the when the windshield to be broken. I don't want nothing to. I don't want to replace anything on this truck, like glass. Finding glass for this thing would be a pain, and finding it cheap. I mean, a computer, that's easy to find. Uh, find them on eBay for amazing deals. One thing I did not like is that it, whenever I looked up the VIN, it did not tell me what transmission it has. I know it has a four-speed manual. Of course you can tell it's a manual. Yeah, of course you can tell it's a manual. It's just... It didn't tell... It told me what engine, and it told me that it was rear-wheel drive, which I already knew that. But, I don't... I... I <sighs> this is the type of stuff that makes my brain hurt whenever it comes to vehicles, and this is my first time ever actually making YouTube a uh, YouTube video about... A vehicle which I don't know if I should go back to my old content which was all over the place or keep on making car content when I know nothing about cars I don't I'm not kidding I know nothing about cars if you're looking for somebody that knows everything about cars don't come to me because I know nothing about cars I just know a year this truck was made in and far so I've been enjoying it this is my portable portable mirror look at that my poor truck has sustained an injury <laughs> I can't put it back on. That still works, obviously. This one is still on. Which is a good thing that it is. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody just tried to tear it apart yet. I want to put towing mirrors on this. And put like a 302 or 429 in a, a either small block or big block V8 which 429 if I'm correct came in these trucks but they came in like F250s and F350s not an F150 Yeah, I love this truck, and I always will, but that'll do for today's video. I know I found nothing out. It was just me blubbering a bunch, and my phone giving me a headache, but I, I have no money to put into the truck. I have nothing to do on the truck because I have no parts to put on the truck. If I would have parts to put on the truck, that would be amazing. For I can actually make quality content about me putting things on the truck. But I can't, because I have no money to. Because everything that you, that you need to do comes with money nowadays. But besides from that, that'll do for today's video. So, I'll post like a short tomorrow on this. I don't know what it will be about, but, yeah. Um, I guess bye for now.